Hello everyone, this is Brian again, and if you're following along in the tutorials, this is the ninth video on HTML. Today we'll be talking about the head tag. Um, it's a little interesting. Um, unfortunately, most of this is non-visual, so don't expect any eye candy. To start, we want to create the start of the head and the end. Now, what this does is allows you to define certain properties about your page, including meta tags. And meta is data about data. Um, one thing you can do is the title. And we'll just enter the title tags here. And the title is actually the title of the page. So we'll say, welcome to my page. Save this. And flip over to our website. Now you notice how nothing's really changed except for the title now says, welcome to my page that is the title tag. Now there's a whole lot of tags called meta tags and I'm not going to type all these out I'm just going to cheat and copy and paste them. As you can see there is a lot of them and there's a lot more than what I'm displaying here. Now remember meta tags are just data about data. It's data about your page. It starts with meta and then the parameter of name I'm sorry the attribute of name. In this case it's keywords and then content. So you can define the keywords for your page. Hope if I could spell today. And then another one would be description. Uh, generator, typically this is the program that you generated this with. We're writing this by hand so it's really irrelevant but you see how it says HTML Webmaster 3. I actually wrote a program a long time ago called Webmaster 3 and HTML-helper.com that I sold to Coffee Cup Software. But that's irrelevant. For this we're just going to put none. Author. Me. Copyright. This is where you could put things like, you know, the copyright for the page, my company. Whatever you want to put. Now, resource type. This is a document. There are different resource types, and we won't really go too in depth into them, but you can have different types of resources out on the internet. This specifically is a document, a web document. Revisit after. This tells certain spiders like Google how many days to revisit this. We're going to say every 30 days, come back, check the page for changes. Classification, content, internet, distribution, global. You can actually section this down to certain countries, certain regions. Rating general. Uh, these tags aren't really used that much, but they can be helpful. Language content, you know, English, United States. Uh, robots content all. That tells robots such as, you know, Google and Yahoo uh, to or not to spider your web pages. Now we'll save our work, and it looks like we made a lot of changes, but when we visit our page and hit F5, nothing's changed. Once again, that's because the head section is all about defining your page, what it is, why it's there, who wrote it, what's the copyright, what's its rating, what language is it in. Most things in the head section will not impact the way your page displays. Now with the exception of course of cascading style sheets and JavaScript which we'll be covering much later. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, comments, or feedback feel free to just send me a message and subscribe to my channel or not, I don't really care, but thanks for watching.